Just kill him. Whatever it takes. No way! We follow the fucking rules. He's the star attraction. The Bureau caught up with the arms dealer who supplied the Death Watchers. And I'm sure he isn't talking or cutting any deals. Because someone in the government above the Ministry of Justice stepped in and dragged him off before you could so much as offer him a cup of tea. Yes, that's... How did you know? The games are up pretty soon, and there's a kill seeker out there in first place who needs to be kicked off the throne. Only way to meet the Death Watchers is to win their game. And I haven't lost one of these yet. Oh, and Miss Mala, look to Springvale for answers about the Death Watch facility. Remember last year's presidential elections and those reports of illegal donations made to the Socialist Party? Springvale's stock was hit hard. Really hard. And the Bureau thinks they started up the games to recoup losses. Navy SEAL? Special Ops? Come on, bitch! They should have mad happy. Jack has climbed over a mountain of bodies to reach this, the pinnacle of the Death Watch competition. Here in this amazing stadium in front of a bloodthirsty crowd of the city survivors, Jack will face his final foe in a brutal battle for the championship. That can only be one number one in this fight to the death. Well, duh. It's a mathematical fact there can only be one number one. For the last fucking time, nobody said to me. Jack's got to take a page out of your ah. Are you saying I've walked the sausage too much? Only if you consider 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, too much. Oh, come on. Uh-oh. Went Super Saiyan on him. The hell was that shit? Damn it, man! They don't give you a chance to fucking link up with him. Thank you. Oh, I forgot to pick it up. Shit is whack, man. I can't. I can't get a hold of him. Here we go. Jack's gotta take the page out of your book and do it by hand. Are you saying I've the sausage 
is too much. Only if you consider 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Oh, I totally backflipped over that. Whatever. Like he was a Pinata full of. Whatever it is that hookers like. Who did you fuck to get this job, you dickweed? Shit. Jack's got to take a page out of your book and do it by hand. Are you saying you want the sausage too much? Only if you consider 24 hours a day, 365 days How do you dodge that? All right, here we go. I got this now. Shit, I don't have it now. Fucking sucks. Thank you, ladies. I knew there was a reason he helped the hookers out earlier. I can tell you from experience that those happy pills work even better if you grind them up and inject them into the folds of your scrotum. I'll give you a dollar if you can tell me one thing that would be better if you grind it up and inject them into the folds of your scrotum. Ah, you got me. We do this. All right, let's do this. And now it looks like the Baron's bitch is going to get some payback. Who's the bitch now, Baron? Ooh, and the bat connects with a brain scrambling hit to the head. I guess it's goodbye for Matilda. Hate to see her go, but I love to watch her leave. Yeah, some real sweet cheeks on the gal, and she was damn handy with that bat, too. Speaking of which... Jack's got the bat in his hand and murder in his eye. And the bloodlust is building in the bleachers. Now the trappers are bringing in the Mandarts board, and we all know what that means. A big fucking finish. Yes, but I think Jack's got a little unfinished business first. The Baron doesn't even know what planet he's on. Pretty soon it won't matter. That's right, Baron. What's good for the bitch is good for the bastard. I wonder how he likes being on the receiving end of a piss slap. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Time for that big fucking finish you were talking about. Absolutely. This is what we've all been waiting to see. Jack winds up. The crowd is going crazy. He swings and connects the center of the dartboard. And the Baron is history. Howard, this crowd has gone absolutely apeshit. All right. These fireworks are a fitting end to an explosive evening of murder and mayhem. Outstanding performance from Jack. What do you think's next for him, Chris? I don't know, a beer, some beaver, and a big fat sequel. Speaking of beaver, it's time for us to split. This is Howard Buckshot Holmes. And Chris Creeley. Saying thanks to all the players, the viewers, and of course, our sponsors. And we'll see you in hell. You know, I still can't believe that there's no no sequel to this game. This game is fucking awesome.
Congratulations, Jack. Champion once again. At our considerable expense. Sucks to be you. Maybe you weren't meant to be in the bookie business. You could try something else. Polo, maybe. It's a thought. So is this. Kill him! Okay. The hell's his story? Jack? Jack! Are you okay? Jack? What's going on? Looks like I'm the one in need of a rescue. Jack! I'm glad I made it in time. I saw you go into the tower, so I snuck in after you. You snuck in? I'll give you credit. You ran a pretty good line of bullshit. But in the end, it smelled exactly like crap. You were the one who set all this up. You and your daddy's company. <coughs> it's all about publicity, isn't it, Leo? What better way to get the word out about a killer virus than release it on an entire city? Funny coincidence your company makes the vaccine. Why, any self-respecting country would pay whatever you asked if the alternative was annihilation. I... I don't want my lawyer. I've got... I've got nothing to say to you. Not even one little thing. See, I was wondering, why Death Watch? If getting word out about the virus was the goal, why risk an uncontrolled element like the games? Jack... You're here to arrest me, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Better hurry or, or I'm gonna die on you. Ah, <laughs> oh, Leo. Poor little Leo. I'm no champion of justice, and I'm certainly not its bitch. What? You mean you're just using the Bureau? That's a laugh. <laughs> oh, come on. Clear your throat and answer my question, douchebag. My... My dad wanted the vaccine. That was his. I just... You just... <sighs> It was fun, Jack. That's all. I can have anything. Drugs. Women. But the game. Jack, the game. It was the best, Jack. Ah, so that's why you were there. Just had to be in the thick of it, didn't you? Wanted to feel it. On your skin. Now, help me, or I'm gonna... <laughs> you know? I don't help people. I kill them.
I hate this part of town. These billboards are a fucking waste of money. Self-centered credit horse, if you ask me. I didn't. All right, guys. I think that's the end. The game designers are the guys who are in charge of this clusterfuck. I think I'll play it all the way out. He's the lead programmer. He's the one not getting laid more than the other programmers. So many nerds, so little time. They say programmers speak the language of computers because nobody else will speak to them. I didn't know you were a programmer. I think my ex-wife slept with all these guys. I remember that night. Hmm. Hey, that guy was in my how to draw for slow learners class. I didn't have good enough grades to get into that class. I've seen these guys, and they're ugly as sin. Worst models ever. Modelers, not models, you idiots. They're still ugly. The lead animator is the lower intestine of the animation world. Yep, because he's full of shit. Animators are the guys who bring the action to life. I think you mean they're the guys who get no action their whole life. Yeah, what did I say? If he's the lead artist, I'd hate to see the morons he leads. Artists are like a rash. You don't know where they come from, and you don't care. Just as long as they go away. They changed their name to artist when they realized that brain-dead booger eaters wasn't going to fit on their business cards. They only had one guy as the blood effects designer? Oh, he must have been working 24-7. You know, the interface designers are... Interface designers? How the hell did you get that job? I said interface, not in her face. Don't care. I'm already getting my resume ready. You know, this is a disappointment after the amazing soundtrack he did for Anal Butt Slugs number 14. Yeah, I bought the CD for that one. How sad to go from world-class beatbox artist to supervising sound editor. Oh, how the might he have fallen. Sound editing? Jesus, everything sounded like a wet fart. Sorry, that was me. Ah, Howard. I don't know if yelling bang every time something happens qualifies as sound programming. I don't think Story Writer is the right title for this guy. What title would you use? I don't know, something along the lines of Mercurial Drama Queen Hack? Works for me. Hey, look at this. The spell checker gets a credit, too. Hmm. Ken Pontak and Warren Graff write to support themselves while they try to succeed in their true calling. What's that? Male prostitution. This guy's storyboards remind me of the work of a famous artist. A classic or modern artist? Now, I was thinking of that gorilla at the zoo who makes pictures with his own shit. This guy's not that good. He won this job because of the work he did from the back of a Max book. We could file a lead cinematic designer under made-up job titles and just move on. They have to start calling the intern cinematic animators after the intern riots back in July. Jesus, these guys couldn't frame Howard for sex crime. Wow, they must really suck. I know. After everything I've seen, I think the designer should be fired. All part of their grand design. Oh, we're done? All right, everybody. Thanks for joining the... Uh... <laughs> Thanks for joining me uh, play through Mad World. Like I said before... I did Anarchy Reigns, and Jack Kamen was in there, and you know I gotta do them, the old ones first, and then the newer ones, so, you got it, everybody, Mad World, I'm gonna roll it on through, and then, um, whatever, you guys have a nice time, peace.